But I saw eight of cups and three of pentacles. Okay, now we have five of pentacles crossing you. So I feel like somebody has just left you out in the cold or you're leaving them in the cold. We have, we have two no cards here. Okay, um, what is the root of the situation for Torians? The sun and two of pentacles reversed. That's a very interesting combination. Let's get one more card for the other side. Because two of pentacles to me is a cycle and a back and a forth and a juggling. Could be communication as well. So we need more than just one card. I'm going to pull for this one. Strength. We have two cards reminiscent of Leo, if not just the Leo card itself. So we have strength and optimism, <laughs> freedom, and like somebody put an end to it with the two of pentacles reversed. And then all of a sudden we have, this is what led to the situation, somebody put an end to all this joy and happiness and compassion. And we have no, no kick you out. Okay, what's uh, the recent past like for Torians that led to the situation? What's the recent past? King of Swords and the Moon reversed. So you could have been dealing with the Pisces because we have it here. Somebody was being unemotional and very logical. They just didn't take any emotion into account. So most likely not a Pisces because Pisces tend to be super emotional. But it also depends on the rest of their chart. Okay, so that's what led to it. This person's like, nope, mm-mm. Wow, this could be you, okay. Okay, what is the overall um, reading? What crowns the reading? Queen of Wands, okay. I don't like to get people, so let's see what else is coming through. Okay, we'll use these two. Four of Swords reversed and Ten of Pentacles reversed, okay. And what is coming up in the near future for Tereans? Okay, too many. Now, near future just means the near future. Oh, Page of Cups reverse. This is your card. No, wait, it's Pisces card. Never mind, Pisces card. Sorry. I said Pisces earlier, and all of a sudden, I thought I was reading for Pisces. <laughs> Even though I'm saying Tereans the whole time. So you really may be dealing with a Pisces. Jeez. But it looks like something's coming up in the near future. This might be somebody coming back to you. Okay, what's the overall outcome for Torians for this situation? Now, near future can be a couple months or a couple weeks. The outcome can be a long, long time. Death reversed, ooh, and temperance. Wow, definitely getting something in order. I mean, I would say like getting over an addiction. It could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Taurus, but I feel like there's healing and letting go and forgiveness. That's some good energy to have as an outcome. Wow, good news. King of Cups reversed. So you may be dealing with the Pisces, but just in general, could be dealing with a water sign. Um, so this is telling me there's some kind of emotional imbalance, but it looks like it's your outcome. It turns out great. So Wow, I'm going to need some clarifiers here. So, see what's going on for April 2018 with the situation. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Somebody was super logical. And if they're coming back in the near future, they're more emotional now. Okay. Wow, I'm probably dealing with a Cancer because we have a Cancer card. So far we have Cancer and Pisces pretty much. Now, there's a possibility of a Scorpio because this is the Scorpio card, but it could be any water sign. So you're having challenges moving forward is what it's saying. That's your situation. And it's because <laughs> somebody's blocking it. <laughs> They're saying no. Um, we have two cancer cards here. It could be a breakup because five of wands is sometimes a breakup. 
and saying it left somebody with some very uncomfortable emotions or somebody was uncomfortable with their emotions. Again, we have somebody trying to be unemotional. This could be you, could be the other person. Either way, somebody wasn't liking what they felt. And so they're saying, no, like, uh -uh, I don't feel okay about this. Or I don't feel good about it. We also have two being bold cards. So somebody was being very bold and saying, I'm not okay with this. Or somebody was making advances and somebody was bold to make advances. Like, why are you being so bold? Why are you being so fresh? Okay. Because that's another term for bold if you think about it. <sighs> okay. And then with temperance in here, it's like somebody's really contemplating moving forward. They're contemplating being bold or they're contemplating somebody's being bold. So, you know, that's the situation currently. In the, in the end, it looks like they come up with something great. Okay. Okay, your situation that's, I mean, your challenge to the situation is the five of pentacles. This can be something like um, a booty call especially with the devil here, if you compare those together. But devil ends up being reversed. And then I see working together with the temperance card. And I think you're trying to work together with the five of wands here, but you might just be clashing. But you do have some changes coming up because we have two fives in your reading. And this may start anywhere from the 21st of April through May 2nd, or this may be when this challenge arises, because that's the date for this card. But I have like a cyclical love connection. That's what's challenging you. It's like somebody comes around, no. Somebody comes around, no. Or somebody comes around, yes, booty call, okay? So some kind of, there's some kind of a cycle in a love relationship. And what has led to the saying no is somebody put an end to the cycle. This could have been you, okay? You could have wised up and said, look, you know, you're a dick. I'm putting an end to this. Even if, you know, you have a lot of passion together. I also have a lot of freedom. Like somebody's getting their freedom. For one person, it's like, hallelujah, I'm free. Okay. Getting a little Aladdin in there for you. But to the other person, that's not the kind of freedom you want. Okay. Oh, all right. In your recent past, again, somebody was not taking emotions into consideration at all. This would be the extreme form of detachment. So I, I feel somebody was more judge-like than they were compassionate. And that somebody doesn't want to take a risk. But they're also not seeing very clearly because their emotions were very unstable or somebody's emotions were unstable with a lot of these cards in here. And so somebody was trying to right the situation by being logical. But sometimes you do need some compassion and some emotion. But this person wasn't able to because they were so unstable that they kind of had to be all logical in order to wait for things to clear. Now here in the past, it was saying, if you control your emotions, it writes the situation in your favor. However, this was not controlling emotions. This was completely getting rid of them because repressing them is what I should say, because they were so unstable. Somebody just repressed them completely and was completely oh, cold hearted is what I see. And they were getting a control on the situation by saying no. Okay, I'm not sure exactly why. Let's see exactly what this past is about. Ooh, the destiny card. So it was meant to happen. Um, this change was something that was supposed to happen. So somebody could maybe work on some self-acceptance, maybe needed... Um, to get out of some kind of a cycle because we have a cycle and then we have somebody put it into it. They had to get out of a cycle in order to fix their emotions and see clearly. There was some kind of muddling of something. And somebody needed to get out of it, the cycle, to see more clearly, to move on. 
because we do have the sun and the moon, and both of those, to me, say move on, at least from a situation, maybe not a person. Somebody needed to figure out more about themselves. And this tells me if you were single in the past, maybe it was temporary, or if singlehood is coming up, it may be temporary. And so the only action this person could take, they're like, this is for the best if I'm just unemotional, whether this is you or the other person. Although it seemed to really hit somebody hard. Okay, why is the Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Four of Swords reversed here? Somebody may have felt guilty about it. It was a burden. I definitely have lots of loss here. Four of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, there's some loss here. Um, this could be a little bit about work, okay? Because I feel like the Eight of Pentacles, no, Three of Pentacles is alluded to here. And I did try to come out with a bunch of other cards and I put it back. But I feel like somebody had to let go of something. Could be the idea of a new business or a family business. Um, also, somebody may be having a hard time dealing with a parent passing. And so they just kind of shut down emotionally. Because perhaps this person was like the light of somebody's life, especially if the parent was a Leo or a Sagittarius. Any fire sign, really. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Why is the Page of Cups here? That could be why somebody feels left out in the cold, like their mother died. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Definitely an offer coming through. Could possibly be a job. I feel like this might be an audition of sorts oh, with the moon in here. And there's this idea of fighting for what you want, fighting for a vision that may not be clear just yet. But either way, an opportunity is coming in. I mean, we have two things being offered here. One's emotional and one's monetary or practical. It looks like it's a good thing. Most likely coming from a water sign. I feel stability will come back in the near future, especially emotional stability. Somebody will be able to open up their emotions. Ah, and the outcome, six of wands, victory. And you see that it just went whoop and flipped right on around because it was meant to be upright. I mean, if this, if these two don't say getting over something and being victorious, I don't know what does because then we have it here. Definitely moving on from a situation, not like six of swords moving on, but six of wands moving on, okay? Could be even a promotion of sorts, getting out of a toxic environment going somewhere where you fit in, you can make shit work. Yeah, I like it. But if you believe it, you will succeed in doing it. I like it a lot. I feel like there's happiness and celebration. The outcome, as since this is your outcome and this is clarifying your outcome, this tells me the outcome is better than you expect. A lot better than you expect. You get rewards. Um, your work life um, might influence your personal life. So if your work life gets better, like a promotion, for instance, then your personal life gets better. Very strange. Or you just know this person from work. And I'm seeing like a, a promotion could improve a relationship. Maybe even improve a co-worker relationship, for instance. But this is definitely um, a turning point. And if this is a creative endeavor of sorts, um, then I'm seeing... Um, Artistic inspiration is good or increases. So you have lots to hope for here. I really like this. This makes me very happy. So sorry. I feel like recovery is imminent in the future. Because in your near future, you have all this opportunity coming towards you. And then it leads to this as an outcome. And I feel like these could be very close together because they're both good. This could involve you traveling. It doesn't have to, though. But if you fell off the bandwagon of something or you needed to control your emotions, I feel like that definitely happens here. 
So that's some good news right there. I like it a lot. I feel like you could have a long career path if this is career based. I'm saying that because I saw the Three of Pentacles earlier and it's alluded to. But definitely you can strengthen bonds at work and in the uh, relationship sector. Ooh, five of Swords in reverse. Okay, I like that. So if there was some kind of a coworker bully, because we did have Three of Pentacles, I'm seeing definitely coming out of conflict. That's for sure. Um... Because this person could have been a tyrant with the five of I mean, king of swords here. Somebody may not have stood up for themselves. Or they just felt like a victim and there's a lot of past resentment. Also, if somebody passed on, somebody is mourning. And the issue wasn't resolved. That's also in the work environment. Somebody felt... A person they were dealing with was two-faced and so they just wanted it all to be over they wanted to lay down their swords and say look it could have made somebody feel worthless or just like the five of pentacles for instance but this says be open to change so if for some reason somebody loses a job I'm seeing that it's not done on emotions, it's just done on practicality, but it's meant to happen. It's a turning point in your life that leads to something better. And boy, do you get some better stuff, something that makes you happy and it's very practical monetarily. And boy, do you get out of toxicity and get into something great. It's almost like a promotion of sorts. And then everything gets resolved. But somebody has to be open to change. Right, let's get some angel answers for you. All right, Tori ends. There's a lot of different kind of messages in there. So some of it may apply to you. All of it may apply to you. Just at different points. It's all up to you. I like that card. The way she's pointing. Okay, let's see if there's another message for you. That one come out. Opportunity, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, bottom of the deck. Peaceful resolution. That's so temperance here. So whatever is going on, that what used to be five of swords, it's all gonna end up great. No matter if you lose a job, whatnot, whatever is bothering you will end up being resolved. It looks like it's in your favor. Even though we don't have anything kind of like court business going on here. It all looks good. 